Hello, do you want to measure jitter and you don't know how? Or is the jitter too big and you need to identify the sources? Okay. Here you can see 2.5 gigabit signal. This signal contains jitter. Unfortunately, I can't see the jitter directly. I need some tool to find out where the jitter comes from. In my case, I would use a function of the oscilloscope. It's called DPUJet. In DPUJet, we have a wizard. This wizard's one-touch jitter helps me to set up the instrument. It will set up, at first it will measure the signal, will look to the signal, finds out its parameters, and then it sets up accordingly the right parameters for the scope, like sampling rate and vertical size and so on. Additionally, it will find the right measurements. It will set up DPU jet to f make the most important jitter measurement. The results now are numbers, but also graphics. One of the graphics are the eye diagram. It's uh, most famous for showing the jitter in the data signal. And as you can see, you have uh, different width of the, uh, of the rising edges and the falling edges of the data bits. This shows its jitter. It's containing jitter. However, this is only one picture. The other graphs that are available will show a diff different view on the jitter. On the left upper corner, you can see the histogram. The histogram is a representation of the jitter of the edge, of this edge in the eye diagram. We have random components and we have det deterministic components. Random is like noise and I can't influence that. So the deterministic noise comes from uh, sources that are usually man-made, and I, have inf I can influence that. I can improve the jitter. Other pictures, like this picture below, will show me the uh, bit error rate, so I can see that jitter already introduces bit errors in my signal. And finally, the upper top right picture shows me the jitter frequency contents. However, these are numbers and graphs, but they don't tell me what are the sources. To get down to the sources, what I would need is to add some measurements. I still stay with the same setup of the instrument. I don't have to change anything. I just decide to add some other measurements. And in the, my case, I would add PJ, periodic jitter, data-dependent jitter, and duty, duty cycle distortion jitter. And I just do a recalculation. I use the same data I had before, just let add these additional measurements. These additional numbers will help me now to define what are the sources, because each of the number has a different source. And uh, let's see to the numbers. If you see the DJ, the deterministic jitter, overall is about 26 picoseconds. This 20 pico 26 picoseconds is the uh, subdivided into the subcomponents, and one is PJ. Just take an example for the periodic jitter, PJ, it's 25 picoseconds. It's the largest number, so the main concern should be stay at periodic jitter. How do I find what the source is for that? The best way to do that is to go to the plots, to define a plot. And that plot is taken from the time interval error and it's called time trend. The time trend now will show me the modulation, the demodulation of the jitter. So I can see the frequency content, and I can see there's a low frequency modulation in there and a higher frequency modulation. Let's zoom in to see what the frequencies are. So we can see it's periodic. I use cursors, I use cursors to define the measurement. And let's see we have about 3.8 microsecond uh, frequency content in there. It's about 300 kilohertz. So my source of this jitter is mainly, comes mainly from a 300 kilohertz source. A designer immediately will have an idea where it might come from. One idea would be the power supply, for example. I also can use a different plot to make it easier for me to see, to understand, which is the frequency uh, plot, it's a spectrum plot, and if I zoom in the spectrum plot, in the low frequency part, I immediately can see there are spectral lines at 300 kilohertz, and that's my source. It's a power supply, and the power supply uh, introduces the highest number of jitter to a 2.5 gigabit signal. Uh, did you expect that? 
In this video we are able to show you with our high performance oscilloscopes how easy it is to capture jitter, quickly analyze the jitter and identify the causes of the jitter. For more information go to our website tectronics.com. Thank you for your attention.